if you are a club officer in a Toastmasters club and involved in preparing the meeting agenda and your club is not using one of the popular meeting management tools such as EasySpeak or Free Toast Host, then this video is for you. For those clubs that want to explore EasySpeak or Free Toast Host, you will find links to their website in the video description. Do check it out. The agenda tool is based on Google Sheets and its ability to share and collaborate with relative is. A link to this tool is in the video description. To ensure that it is not modified inadvertently, I'm sharing it as a read-only document. When you open this document, the first thing you will have to do is click on File, Make a Copy. Give it a name. Make sure you copy it in your Google Drive and disable these two options and say Make a Copy. Now you can start playing with it. The tool is provided with two sheets, the agenda and the member list. The first thing you should do is update these names with your club member names. In our club, we give opportunities to other club members to deliver speeches or take up roles. To accommodate this, I have added five slots, external one to external five. Once this is completed, I highly recommend that we lock this sheet so other club members do not make changes by mistake. Right click on member list and select protect sheet. In, in this section, select sheets, make sure member list is highlighted and click set permissions. Choose this option, restrict who can edit this range and from the drop down choose custom. If you are the VP ad, you can add one or two club members who help you in preparing the agenda. Let me choose one. You can add more names and then click done. If you want to inform the members via email, you can click on the share button or you can just say don't share. The member list now is locked. For good measure, you can even hide it. Right click on member list and hide shit. Now we can work on the agenda. Feel free to use this agenda as is or modify it to suit your club needs. The way I have configured this agenda is that it will print perfectly on an A4 sheet. Click on file, print. This is how it will look. If you all use letter size stationery, you can change that and adjust it accordingly. The first part of the automation is this drop downs that I have created for role players, for speakers and for evaluators. To define a drop down, what we do is right click on the cell and select drop down. In the criteria, I have chosen drop down from a range and the range is nothing but the sheet member list from A1 to A29. If a new member joins, I can come to my member list add the member in the right slot so that the range becomes A1 to A30, then I can simply change this to A1 to A30. So for all the role players, I have defined the drop downs. So wherever you see this arrow, it means you can choose from a drop down. When it comes to the evaluation segment, I have used formulas to correctly place the speaker and the evaluator next to each other. This means if I change the speaker here, this column automatically changes. If I change the evaluator, this column changes. The second automation is the start time and the duration. Notice for the start time of the meeting, which is 5.45 p.m., I have described it using a formula equals time 17.45, which is hours, minutes, and seconds. The duration here is defined as time 0 hours, 15 minutes, 0 seconds. Why have I done that? Because for the next agenda item, the time is automatically computed. E21 plus H21 gives me 6 o'clock. I've kept 2 minutes to start the meeting and the house rules, but let's say I wanted to make it 5. You will notice that all subsequent times automatically change. And we can observe that the meeting is going to go beyond the scheduled time by 3 minutes. So let me go back and change it to 2 minutes time zero to zero. You can play with the rest of the content to make the agenda uniquely yours. If you're happy with how the agenda looks, let's lock it up. Right click, protect sheet. Here we want to protect sheet number 504. By the way, 504 is a reference to the meeting number. You can name it anything you want. Then click on accept certain cells. 
Here we want to make sure that members can log into this sheet, take up roles, but not change any other aspects of the agenda. So which are the columns the members can edit? Perhaps these two columns, the theme and the word of the day, all this role player section, the speaker and evaluation section, and of course this area where they can type in their speech details, plus the table topic master. To achieve this, let me click here, then click on this, select data range, and select these two columns, G16 and G17. Click OK. Next, I want to open this section, add another range, click this button, and choose this, G26. Add another range. For this, let me select G28 to G31. Click add another range. Let's also add this range, add another range all the speakers and evaluator range, add another range, and the table topic master. These are the six sections that members can come and update. Click OK, then click Set Permissions. Restrict who can edit this range and select Custom, like before. If you are the VP Ad, put your name and any other member who supports you in preparing the agenda. Once you are satisfied, click Done. You can share the update with them via email or click Don't Share. All you have to do now is click on share, enter the email IDs of all your club members. You can get them from the club roster. Paste it here. Compose a nice welcome message. When you're ready, click on the send button. Once that is done, you can also copy this link to the tool and keep it where it is accessible by all your club members. For example, if you have a WhatsApp group to communicate with your club members, you can keep the link to the tool in the group description. Anytime a club member needs the link, they just come to the WhatsApp group, click about, and then go to the meeting tool. Once you're done with your meeting, you can make a copy of this agenda for the next meeting. Right click, duplicate. I'll rename the sheet with the next meeting number by clicking rename, let's say 505. Clear all the role players by clicking delete. The same for speakers and evaluators. And the table topic master, theme and word of the day. And we are ready for the next meeting. In order not to confuse your members, you can hide the previous meeting. Right click, hide sheet. And we are done. That's my agenda planning tool. Hope you find it useful. Make it yours.